in my experience is that when a community and a person open, when you open your heart and your community to welcome new people, uh, there's not only an action of solidarity, it's also a win-win situation that will do something with yourself and with your community and make it richer. That's my personal experience and that's also my experience from the country uh, I've come from, uh, from Sweden. So I think this is this is really important. This is an area we need to to step up, and I will tell you more about that. So what we already heard here that it's, it's already it's 80 million um, people that are displaced uh, persons today in the world, and that's one percent of the population of the planet actually, uh, and that means that uh, we have so many people that really are in need of help. Of course, a majority of them to their, their homes uh, in neighboring countries, but not all of them can, can do so. Not all of the displaced peoples are refugees, but all refugees are displaced persons. So I think it's important that we can must step up our uh, efforts to, to help uh, people in, in need. This is also uh, uh, what we also see here in, in the film and also there's a lot of individuals uh, that could find a new future. Uh, there was one uh, a man, a young man from uh, Uganda, Jimmy Servada. Uh, he's, he was uh, he already he always knew that he was gay, and in Uganda, Uganda that was uh, he was being uh, threatened, he was being harassed, he was being arrested, his boyfriend was being killed, and he was became a, a refugee. And thanks to the cooperation with UNHCR, he could find a new future in Sweden. He could find a new life. He could find a new love. He could get married, married in a Swedish church, and still and being an, uh, a gay activist. So I think this is uh, shows that this is so important thing that we can do for for individual uh, um, people. Uh, European Union has made huge progress when it comes to resettlement uh, since 2015. Uh, 70,000 people have found a new welcome in European Union uh, through resettlement. And last uh, this year, we have pledges for 30,000 resettlements in European Union. That's the best uh, ever. And that comes uh, on top of the around 300,000 people that will have uh, a positive asylum decision uh, um, and also being part of our society and being granted protection. So this is this is really important. That makes our uh, European Union are uh, doing 50% of the global total of resettlement. But I would like us to be uh, leading globally. But one reason why we are taking such a huge part is because United States today uh, take a very little part. So I was very happy to hear uh, Joe Biden promising to step up significantly uh, on a resettlement uh, if he was able to uh, to take office. It was really inspiring to listen to to Minister uh, Mendicino from from Canada because Canada is really a leading example here. And in my previous capacity as minister in Sweden, I visited Canada twice just to uh, special special uh, study uh, uh, the community sponsorship and also the integration. And I'm really impressed on uh, what you are doing. And there's a lot uh, to learn uh, uh, from you here. Uh, so I think uh, you are a little bit a role model. But of course, we can't uh, copy that on the European level, but we can be inspired. And I think that um, uh, we already have well, the tradition in Europe is the state-driven um, uh, uh, resettlement, and that will probably continue, and that's important, so we should continue on that. But we have today uh, quite a few projects, but on a small scale, on community or private-sponsored uh, uh, resettlement schemes, and this is something I would like to scale up. Uh, next year, we will, from the European, from the Commission, finance several projects uh, uh, worth four million euros. But I think that we can do even more, and I would like to develop uh, a European approach towards uh, community sponsorship, because I know that there are so many 
uh, local uh, communities uh, and local uh, uh, majors <laughs> and uh, uh, private uh, groups that really would like to do more in this area. Uh, so we should uh, also let them do it and welcome them, invite them to do so. Working on a new uh, proposal, a new pact on migration and asylum for European Union. Uh, this is uh, a, a quite uh, challenging task, I must say, uh, because member states and parliament are very divided on this issue. And what we need uh, to do is to uh, move, uh, because Europe uh, need to manage migration better, we need to move from irregular arrivals towards uh, legal pathways and resettlement. Because we, don't, we, we, we do not need fewer migrants, but we need people not risking their lives to come here. And we need them to come in an orderly way and being welcomed in an orderly way when they, when they uh, enter the European Union. And that's why uh, in the uh, new pack that I'm going to put on the table uh, in September on migration and asylum, a new regulation, that will be uh, um, that will be have a specific initiative to scale up resettlement and opening new legal pathways, uh, both for migrants and for refugees, and promoting community and private sponsorship. So that will be an important part of my upcoming proposals and that's why also one reason why it's very good for me to be here with you and to listen to your experience and to your proposals.